I'm at the butthole. Ah. Hosted by T. Sweden Gator. My sister and her now husband had their wedding in the Lake District in the UK. It's so beautiful here. They had a lovely outdoor wedding. It was very intimate and only included family and friends because they wanted to go all out and make a mini holiday of it. We all arrived Wednesday morning and are due to leave on Sunday so people can go to work. If you know the Lake District, there are lots of beautiful walks and scenic views. My family are quite seasoned runners and hikers so my parents and I did a trial of Kate Trail run slash hike of Lufrig on Thursday. It wasn't my idea, more so my parents, but I run longer distances on the road so thought how hard could it be. I also don't see my parents often and thought it would be nice to do something with them while they are not preoccupied with work. It was rocky in some parts and you have to be careful on your feet. I was not careful enough and had a bad fall and hurt my ankle. The only shoes I brought with me were my road trainers, trail trainers, I hike in these anyway, my wedding heels 3 inch and crocs since I wear them to travel in. Because I was feeling some pain on the day of the wedding Friday, I brought them with me in case I needed them and I did end up needing them so I wore them during the wedding. For official photos, I wore the heels but then would change into my crocs when nothing too important was going on. My sister saw me in my crocs while I was at down and asked me why I wasn't in my heels. I explained that I had a bad fall when I was running and this was more comfortable and I didn't want to aggravate my ankle. She wasn't very happy and said I shouldn't have gone if it was too risky for me. I asked her what the point of having the wedding in the lakes was if she didn't want any of us to take advantage of the trails. She said that wasn't the point and it was rude to show up in crocs. I said that I really should have gone to the hospital, but I didn't want to detract from her wedding so she should be grateful I am here even in my crocs. My sister and I are not particularly close. My sister has been messaging families about my crocs and now I am getting grief for wearing them at a formal event and my aunts have been making snide remarks about how they knew I wasn't going to follow the dress code. Am I the butthole? So what do you think? Share your opinions in the comments below. And now to the comments. Suspicious Spider 5781 likes to add. Not the butthole. They were backup shoes and you had an injury. You wore the heels for pecs. Wedding culture has become so toxic. A comment from Bureaucratic Drift. Not the butthole your options were having me, then Crocs are not there at all. Which one did you prefer? Interbanks Moose likes to add. Not the butthole oh, FFS. Your sis needs to get over herself. You wore the appropriate footwear for the photos and put yourself in pain to do so. She should be grateful you were willing to do that much. Not snipe at you for not doing more. Cox in the wedding photos could have been a funny family story to share in the years to come if she didn't have such a stick up her ass. Angra Sipa commented. Wow. I get why you wore them, but I can also see someone being a bit annoyed since Crocs look pretty obnoxious. If you guys already have a contentious history, that would definitely inflame the situation. A comment from Lani Kier. Listen, if you show up to a nice wedding in a t-shirt and shorts, then you're going to be bought. But you had a good reason because you were injured. What was the bride going to do if someone broke their ankle, kicked them out? Not the butthole. Hornetap Batano commented. A few years ago, my husband and I attended a very elegant outdoors black tie wedding. Even though all guests were warned that tuxedos and full length gowns were compulsory, we were also warned to bring shoes suitable for walking in grass and possibly uneven ground. I had to go out and buy dressy looking silver flats, but was amused to see that after the wedding ceremony, the entire wedding party and their families all changed into crocs. Everyone was amused to see dresses costing in the thousands worn with crocs. Dear listener, if you like the videos I make, do consider liking and subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For kicking my husband out over naps. Posted by OK Quote Minus 274. For context, my husband and I trade off days on the weekend to sleep in. He gets Saturday, I get Sunday. Lately, however, I have been beyond extremely exhausted. I am pregnant with our third and deal with hypothyroidism. Our second is going through a sleep regression and consistently wakes up in the night, something my husband never handles, which is fine. I have had to pick up a part-time data entry job to help make ends meet, but we don't have the money for childcare. So during naps, downtime, after bedtime I have been working. He has started coming home complaining the house is a mess or dinner isn't ready, which I try to let roll off my shoulders. This is a new season we are both in after all. But it wears on me emotionally. I have expressed how tired I am and how I am in need of a little extra support. 
He gets frustrated and tells me he is just as tired. He's had to pick up overtime and his feelings just from that. Usually, however, that's where the conversation ends and I walk away feeling dismissed. This past week was particularly rough. I felt I was at a breaking point and just needed some rest. As we were driving home from somewhere, I told my husband that I know Saturday he sleeps in, but I seriously just needed a weekend where I could catch up on sleep. He launches into a fight about how it's not fair and he is tired too. He said I could sleep in if he could take a couple of naps on Saturday and Sunday. I told him sleeping in wasn't helpful if it meant I had to go solo on the weekend while he took two naps both days. He told me that's how relationships work and he's offering support, but I have to be fair. I told him never mind. I'll just get up. He responded that that was my problem and launches into a yelling tailspin on how I need to learn to be fair and no one said I couldn't sleep. I just need to let him nap. I am the one making things worse. This is my own hole I am digging on and on and on. To which I, at this point completely spent, pulled the car over and told him to find somewhere for the night and then drove home. I felt in that moment, being alone with the kids was better than being around someone but feeling alone. So am I the butthole? Edit to add. 1. He is normally a very difficult person, which is made worse by our crazy busy schedule. 2. I do normally handle all that comes with running a household. Before I added in a pregnancy and work, it was important to me that he came home and had nothing on his plate except focusing on the kids. I obviously am not superwoman though and I don't think he's recognized that things on my end have changed. Maybe that's making him a tad bit irritated. And now to the comments. FM commented. Info, why are you having a third child with this man? Cute Caminus 4012 commented. This isn't easy not the butt hole, but to assess the extent of his assholery can you give us a bit more detail on how you share chores? Because from this post it seems you are doing a full-time job with childcare loan, working a part-time job on the side, do nights while also cooking and cleaning. What does he do? OK quote minus 274 likes to add. I handle our chores, bedtime, morning routines, meals, which I was glad to do before I began working. Butterfly Destiny commented. Not the butthole, but honesty, why are you having a third child with this man? Is this behaviour new? I am flabbergasted that you've made it to a third child on a scene. Ego Trip commented. Everybody sucks here. Once is a fluke. Twice is a coincidence, and three times is a pattern. You've got two kids and a third on the way, so both of you need to stop making about it yourselves for the kids' sake. A comment from Inevitable C-7921. Make him get a vasectomy. Sounds like he does very little for your family unit. Check out our playlist that summarizes all posts of a specific topic. You can find them in the description box. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For asking for my money back after getting kicked out of a wedding party for a rumor that wasn't true. Posted by Outside Bath 9511. Am I the butthole? For asking the bride of the wedding to reimburse me for the costs I incurred while participating in her wedding festivities because I was kicked out of the wedding due to an untrue rumor. For some background, me and the bride have been friends since college and have been close since. I was asked to be a bridesmaid in her wedding and of course accepted because I love her and wanted to help celebrate her big day. During the months leading up to the wedding, I bought several items for the wedding itself and paid for my portion of a bachelorette trip which was a joint trip with the groom and his groomsmen and a few added friends. The weekend of the trip came and we loaded up the car and set off to our destination. The whole rumor started that I attempted to sleep with one of the groom's friends on the trip, which was not true and had no logical basis. The rumor was started by another bridesmaid who was upset that me and the guy she was currently talking to used to have a relationship years ago and when he found out that I was on the trip he started asking her questions concerning me and my life at the present time. I have not spoken to this guy since we cut off contact two years ago. So she saw me conversing with one of the groom's friends at the bar we had gone to the first night of the trip. She took it upon herself to start saying that she saw me and this friend of the groom's who was married sneak off to the bathroom to hook up. This of course did not happen but with this girl being a friend of the bride's much longer than me the bride took her side and asked me to leave the bachelorette trip the next morning. In total I was on the trip for less than 24 hours. The trip was booked for 5 days. Later after the trip about a week before the wedding I texted the bride a question about the dress and was met with a long text about how I was no longer a part of the bridal party and would not be able to attend the wedding due to the rumours. 
She informed me that her whole family and the groom's family was uncomfortable with my being a part of the event due to the rumour and since the friend that I allegedly slept with was a long-time friend of the groom's family, he would not be uninvited. So am I the butt for asking the bride to be reimbursed for the rest of the trip I was not allowed to stay for and the other charges I incurred for the sole purpose of being in her wedding. And now to the comments. Martin Kvai Mighty 1337 commented. Not the butthole. This is very disgustingly sexist. If you two had done something, why is it only you they are uncomfortable with? Are you both single? If so, it's really none of their business anyway. If you or him are not, I can see a problem arising, but honestly, again, it takes two to tango. The fact they are villainizing the woman and the guy isn't even sticking up for what actually happened is disgusting. You will get your money back, though. They're awful through and through. A comment from Strawberry Key 1913. Where was this groom's friend that you supposedly slept with and why didn't he say anything? Anyway, you can ask for your money back, but just take the loss and delete these people from your life if everything you said is true. Not the butthole. A comment from Random Trinidadian. Not the butthole. The only reason you agreed to the cost was because you were originally intended to be part of said wedding. Since your friend don't want you in said wedding anymore and believes someone else, then she should not have any problems with paying you back. If anything, she and her family are butthole for not believing you. The Bullships commented. Not the butthole. These are poop friend. Bury me in books likes to add. Honestly, I don't know how so many people go on these trips, get in some argument and get asked to leave and then actually do. Once you're on the trip, you're much too close to the day to get any money back for most of the things you've already paid for, so I had be finding the most scandalous clothes I could, and going to everything I have to with the group like Diane in the revenge dress. Does Jenny want to go over there, but she has to stick with the group? No worries, Jenny, I'll do it in front of you and you can die envious. Is everyone stuck going out to do a walking tour on a rainy day? That's fine, I've got a spa trip booked. Enjoy your soggy hair. Crooked1231 commented. Absolutely not the butthole. Why is Ron W the bride? While I understand that she might not want drama in her wedding, this is a rumor as a product of jealousy and clearly untrue. And what about the groomsman? Why isn't he speaking up? To the next post. Am I the butthole? For telling my boss to think about what she just told me and get back to me. Posted by teacher placement. I am 19 for teaching assistant at preschool. We have two playgrounds, one small one by our classrooms that we use every day and a big one that we share with two other preschools on the same campus. We go to the big one twice a week. It's always me, a teacher, and 15 minutes 20 kids. My coworker and I used to sit at the front where we could see everything that was being used by our kids and the two gates in and out of the playground. My boss didn't like that we talked instead of watching the kids apparently you can't do both so she said one has to stay by the sandbox and one at the front. Then on Thursday a little girl fell off our swing. She was fine but my boss is upset that she could have gotten hurt and says one of us is to be standing by the swing. I told her the swing is in more of a secluded area, so if I am standing by the swing and my coworker is watching the sandbox, the majority of the kids would be unsupervised and we wouldn't be able to see the gate. She insisted that she knew what she was talking about and that we just don't want to work, so I told her to take a lap around the playground, think about what she said, and get back to me. She's angry and is threatening to take away the raise and extra hours I was promised not gonna happen, but she'll try real hard, so I wanted to know if I was the butt. And now to the comments. The Glarico likes to add. Not the butthole. From everything you've described, stationing you where she asked is putting more children at risk slash unsupervised. This needs to be put in writing to your boss's boss so it's on record if she pushes it with the next person and there's an incident. It is possible to talk and watch kids. Kids are fast and they tumble. If someone expects you to be within arm's reach of every toddler, they are going to need another 20 teachers or have all of them playing within three feet of you. She is being ridiculous. New Lime 6806 commented. You seem to have a good point, but might have been led a bit by your frustration and could possibly have been a bit more tactful in your response. I do not know what kind of person your boss is and if other things happened before that caused your reaction to be like that, but if you reacted like that to me, I would also have been offended by your tone, as it feels like you would react in this way to a child. Not the butt, but could be a bit more tactful. Teacher placement likes to add. She can't stand me. She wanted her daughter to get my job but I was hired instead. Then when they needed someone to also work mornings during the summer she wanted to hire her daughter but her mom, the owner of the school offered me the morning hours. 
Vonix 100 1000. 982 likes to add. Not the bottle. I work with children and you do the best you can to watch them, but sometimes kids will be kids and do dumb things that get them hurt. Why does not she just come out at recess and watch the kids by the swing? Teacher placement likes to add. Because then she'd have to actually watch the kids. Aaron Twins commented. Not the butthole. Some people have never been to preschool, I guess lol, and she calmed down. If anything, I would say it's a shame there are only two of you to watch so many kids, but you're clearly not in butthole for trying to watch as many kids in the most strategic way that you can. I would venture to guess the swings and not the full adult ones. To the next post. Am I the butthole? 22 female for choosing to take meds that my boyfriend 27 male is allergic to. Posted by Throw R and in Million. 582,748. Over the past few weeks, I've been quite sick. Yesterday morning, I woke both my boyfriend Jake and myself up with a coughing fit. So I decided to go to the doctor's that morning. The doctor said that there was some inflammation in my throat, so he prescribed me with penicillin over the next few days. I had no problem with taking this, but I did know that Jake is allergic to penicillin. Once I got my meds, I called him to tell him where I would keep it so that he can stay away from it. He told me that it couldn't be in the apartment and I can't take it around him because he was deathly allergic to it. He said I should get rid of it and take pain meds to get better on my own instead. I suggested that I could go stay at my parents' house for the next few days whilst I'm taking my meds. He said that we'd talk about it when he got home but until then I either needed to get rid of them or leave them in my car without taking them. But I didn't want to wait seven hours for him to come home before taking them. I decided to just go to my parents' house because I wanted to take them and I had probably end up going there later after we talked. When I got to my parents, I stayed in bed for the rest of the day and fell asleep at some point. I woke up around five and to loads of calls and texts from Jake and some mutual friends asking where I was. I waited a while before calling Jake back and he asked where I was and when I answered he angrily told me that it was disrespectful of me to leave without waiting for him to discuss this and that I was making a big situation by ignoring his calls last night. I tried to explain to him that I wasn't ignoring him, that I'm sick and I had fallen asleep at my parents and that I didn't think it would be a big deal because I had already suggested it on the phone to him yesterday. He said that he didn't remember me telling him this and that he was calling friends all last night asking if they knew where I was and that it was suspicious that I had been distant with him for the past few weeks just to disappear last night. I may be the butthole for this part, but I told him that it's not my fault that he didn't remember me telling him this and that he knew I had been feeling unwell over the past few weeks which explains why I was distant. I then said that he was the one being ridiculous as there was no way that having penicillin in the same apartment as him would even cause any problems if he stayed away from it. After this he said that I was being the butthole for belittling him and not taking his allergy seriously. He then told me to just stay at my parents for the next while until he is ready to talk again before hanging up and he has not answered any of my calls since. As I've been stuck in bed thinking about it, part of me just feels like I might have been too stubborn and I could have avoided all of this by waiting a couple of hours or trying to get better without the antibiotics. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. A comment from Jane with that. Not the butthole. Your boyfriend is controlling as hell. I've never heard of a penicillin allergy so severe that being around someone else on the meds would affect them. If that were the case, he should have been fine with you staying at your parents. It's not his place to tell you you should go without, so there is nothing to discuss. It sounds like he just does not want you to have something he can't have. It also sounds like he made a big deal of you going to your parents by calling all your friends. I am no ready buying that he didn't hear you. Then he tried to blame you for the big deal he created. A comment from my young money. I'll leave this man. A comment from Queen of Wasps. Ami um, sounds exhausting. There is no need to be afraid of someone else's medication like this, he just shouldn't touch it or take it. He still wasn't happy, so you chose an option that fixed the problem in another way and he still isn't happy. Sometimes you don't have a choice but to take antibiotics, he isn't a doctor and shouldn't be telling you to ignore medical help because of his allergy. Not the butthole. A comment from Infinite Seaweed Minus 932. I have multiple kids, with three being allergic to penicillin slash amoxicillin and two not, including one with severe reactions EBI pen dangerous. He will be fine if the medicine is in the same room as him. It is when you take the medication and are allergic that is reactive to you. You need to take your medicine. If he is that worried about it like he is showing, then you're staying at your parents was perfectly responsible on your part. One question though, since you live together, whose name is your place under? 
a comment from Wayward Marauder. Not the butthole. Jake became a major butthole the minute he suggested you take pay meds for an infection. Enthusiasm non any thousand eight hundred seventy six commented. Once you start feeling better, are you in? Get as far as possible away from him. They don't prescribe antibiotics unless you really need them. You getting better was less important to him than him being right, and that is messed up. Not the butthole. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For telling my fiance his parents are not welcome at our house. Posted by Lizzie Quinn. I 25 FM getting married in September to my fiance Jack 29 M. We have been dating for about three years and engaged for one. We just got a new home a month ago and we could not be happier. It's like our life is coming together piece by piece. The major issue is, uh, I think they are nice people. They have always treated me like family, but they are very intrusive. They will come over unannounced, bring over food while I am planning to cook. His dad will come on my days off to fix things. On the surface, this all sounds so nice, and it is. I am grateful. They are always over though. I see them every other day. We have dinner with them three times a week at least. His mom even offered to do my laundry. His dad calls at eleven thirty p.m. The list goes on. This all is so so sweet, but oh my god, I want to care for my man. Lol, I want to cook for him and be his partner. I feel like I am living in an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. My fiance understands why I get upset, but him and his siblings are close with his family. There are five kids, and they all love seeing the parents daily. Again, it's nice, but they are always over. We try to set boundaries, but they never work. The other day, his mom dropped off dinner while I was cooking, and I said she needs to leave to let me do my thing, and she needs to bring the food home and stop doing this. She looked devastated. I felt so bad after, but I snapped. My fiance was furious. One of my sister-in-law texted me and called me the butthole. I tried to apologize, but my future mother-in-law just wasn't having it. I feel like I have fed things up for the rest of my marriage with my in-laws. I'm now the daughter-in-law with the attitude, so am I the butthole? And how do I fix this? At it, we have attempted to set boundaries. They never work. My fiance is very loving, but this is his only flaw. On another note, he has brothers, and it does not bother his sister-in-laws. Which is very confusing to me. I really do think these people are sweet, and my fiance and I have tried for the boundaries, but because the rest of the family does not mind, I think his parents feel like we should not either, and I feel bad. I heard his mom. And now to the comments. Sideways tub boat likes to add. This is not an in-law problem. This is a fiance problem. Your fiance needs to get on board with you and boundaries with his family yesterday, or this marriage won't work. If he chooses his parents over you now. He will always do so. It is not your job to confront your mother-in-law. That's his responsibility, and he dropped the ball. Sit down with him and let him know this isn't sustainable for you, and figure out how to move forward together. Not the butthole. Capable fake three thousand nine hundred three likes to add. Not the butthole. The parents can only come when invited is a reasonable rule. Stop opening the door when they come uninvited on the days your husband is not there. I tried to apologize. You have nothing to apologize for. They need to learn boundaries. They need to apologize for intruding. My fiance was furious. Your affectionate is in butthole demand couples therapy, and if that does not help, go for a divorce. A comment from RB thirteen twenty seven. I feel like I have things up for the rest of my marriage with my in-laws. Everybody sucks here. Everybody sucks here. You've had three years of observation to understand the family dynamic between your fiance and his parents. You apparently just ignored all of the information. Now suddenly you're shocked about how much engagement he expects to have with them. Get real. You and your finance should never have pressed forward and bought property in a relationship where you have wildly different attitudes about the amount of interaction there should be with family. Us and Aim Fifty Two likes to add. Everybody sucks here. How was this not addressed before closing to move this close to his parents? Were they not like this before? A comment from Vlfn Two. From the way you've written it, it sounds like the first anyone else apart from fiance heard of it was I said she needs to leave. So let me do my thing, and she needs to bring the food home and stop doing this. If that's true, then everybody sucks here. This is not how you communicate. A comment from Craking Ridgeway. Not the butthole that's not helping. That's meddling. You need to have time with your husband alone to cook, clean, fix stuff, whatever. God, I would be furious if my parents came over like that. If you like the videos I make, do consider liking and subscribing. It will really help the channel grow.
That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.